Doug and PA back with another video. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button on the way in. I'd really appreciate it. It shows that you support me and the content on this channel. So I did a video previously about the backlash from men to the M2 movement and how men are just avoiding women in the workplace altogether. No mentorship, no lunches, no happy hours, no nothing. In my previous video I had these two people that work for some company that were saying that avoiding women in the workplace can be discrimination and trying to shame men into taking the same risks that they were taking before. On this channel, I say, guys, don't do it. Protect yourselves. You have to, because no one else will. I found this video right here. It's a news story and it's talking to a female etiquette expert. She's trying to talk to men about how to navigate the workplace post M2 in 2022. So let's see what this lady has to say. It's a news story, so it has a news intro, but, intro, but let's see what she has to say. Tonight, we're still navigating the impact the Me Too movement had on the workplace. It put a powerful light on sexual harassment and how men and women interact at work. In tonight's Mail Call report, CBS 8's Rocio de la Fe has a closer look at the challenges we face in today's work setting and gets all the do's and don'ts for men in the workplace. To compliment or not. What Let's not. How about that? It was once done almost without thinking can now be seen as an unknown risk for men in work settings. I think it probably makes some men think twice before they say something or offer something like taking somebody out to lunch. I, I, I think it has had an effect. Dan and the thing about it is, let's say you're in corporate America, working 70, 80 hours a week, working on these high pressure projects under a deadline. You're not second guessing your work because you, you're putting all your effort into it, but you have to second guess interacting with certain employees. Just avoid it all together. That's energy taking away from what you could be working on. Guys, just avoid it. Ann Lawton works in a corporate setting and says the Me Too movement has left a profound impact in social and work environments. Speaking only from my profession, I would say it's made them much more cautious and aware. Etiquette would... So this is the etiquette expert. Let's see what she has to say. Dictate that chivalry is gender free. We haven't caught up to that yet. That's BS. We all know that chivalry is associated with men and men only. So she's starting off capping already. Swan is an etiquette expert and founder of the Swan School of Protocol. And, and just real quick, how does one become an etiquette expert? That term just makes me laugh. Me, I might be in the wrong business. She might be making a lot of money. Could it be Doug MPA, future etiquette expert? <laughs> no, let's get going. Carl's bad and says the Me Too movement has affected today's work culture and the way men behave around their female colleagues. Swan says when it comes to interacting, it's always better to play it safe. There you go. Okay. She already put the most important thing first. I see you, Elaine Swan. My advice for men today in the workplace, as we're looking at what's taking place with the Me Too movement, is to be very careful with compliments. Make sure that they're not too personal in nature. We want to avoid complimenting someone on their body type or the fact that perhaps they've lost weight or how great an outfit looks on them. Or just don't compliment at all. Keep your head straight. Stay at your computer. At lunchtime, go to the refrigerator, get your lunch, sit back in your cubicle, eat, and get back to work. Instead, she says, if you wish to compliment a colleague, make it less about the person as an individual and more about how it relates to the company. You might say, that's a great color on you. It really complements the brand that we're representing. So something along those lines so that your comment more so has to do with the workplace. Another important. This is totally a woman's point of view. The compliment and the compliment, she's still not understanding the ramifications of a compliment. And if a woman doesn't want compliments at all and sees it as threatening, there's no compliment that can be perceived as a good one. It's a total female point of view. Tip, pay attention to your body language. Making sure that you're not giving a signal that might be misconstrued as something more intimate in nature and be mindful of personal space. Everyone has their own bubble as far as their boundaries are concerned. So don't stand too close to an individual when you're talking to them. But Twan says it also goes. Once again, just don't even bother. 
this whole thing is feelings based. You don't know what's what a woman is feeling at the time. If a guy's really, really, you know, if he's six foot two, Chad looking, he, you know, he'll be able to stand close to her. But if you're just an average guy, you won't be able to. And even if you're a good looking guy, six foot tall, to check all the um, all the check boxes, you guys should stay away too. Don't think that because you're in the, you know, you have looks charisma that you're immune to all this because you're not it's both ways although we should be kind and considerate towards one another gentlemen do not necessarily have to go overboard for women and women can certainly step in and help men as well so because she owns a company she has to say all this stuff because she wants you to hire her and give classes or give seminars and you know I'm not going to knock our hustle, but guys, once again, on this channel, if you can work from home, work from home. If you don't have to worry about any of this, but if you have to go into work, guys, just like the gym nowadays, don't look at, don't look at men. Don't look at women. Keep your head down get your workout done and leave guys go to work, get your coffee, sit in your cubicle, go to lunch by yourself, sit back on your cubicle, put your headphones in, do your work. Go home. No amount of classes anytime soon. Nothing's going to change this anytime soon. So, you know, what does Mr. Palmer always say? Truth of what it is. All right. This is Doug MPA. I'll catch you on the next one.